Hello everyone, Renier Games here and we're back with some more modded Minecraft survival and as you can see behind me here I have started expanding our base here a little bit as I will be building a little storage room or storage part of the house as it's really annoying having these fooled up inventories and our chests are just filled with random stuff so I kind of want to um, build a storage room so we can have a little bit more system in everything so that is what's coming there of course I haven't gotten time to build a roof and everything but I got I got a little time to at least build the frame so it's a little bit safe so uh, not all enemies will be coming in at least only spiders could enter but nothing else and uh, yeah we're gonna be working on that this episode and also I want to be building a cook oven and maybe we could even maybe start on the oil this time uh, but first, let me just take you a little tour of what I'm planning on doing. I kind of want a under, like a pathway under here because it's kind of connected like with a connection here. And there's an option to be actually be going inside from the outside here. Uh, but we can also go underneath. So you don't need to go in and then out. So there's a little bit, a lot of pathways everywhere. And this is going to be our quarry. And I did build a mining well. I'm quickly going to show you how that one works. But it's not very, very good, but at least it helped me mine all the way down to bedrock uh, just by burning some wood in this Stirling engine. And the mining well isn't actually that expensive to make either. As it, let's see, mining well, uh, only iron here. So I think it's four plus six and three. So it's 13 iron and one redstone. And it has no durability or anything, so you can use it as much as you want. But, um, yeah, it's not that fast with one sterling engine. And it can only mine down one, and then you need to move it. I know there's certain uh, ways you can build build it so it actually is better. So you can kind of like have it pushing and so on. But that's too advanced for me right now. And then we have some co cobblestone transport pipes that are just pumping the stuff this one mines over to the chest over here. Because I was a little lazy and uh, just felt like having one so you can mine slowly while we're building this hole. Uh, but yeah, we can head on in here and it's just a connection to the first starter house here and connecting out here. And then we have a very spacious storage room. And then we also made a stair stairway that's going to lead up here and then we can actually enter our bedroom from this way. So I'm actually going to be removing the ladder here. As I found it annoying in the last episode and uh, I kind of think it's nicer with uh, stairs unless there's like a place you don't normally go that often. Then it's uh, uh, okay with ladders. And as you can see our inventories are full everywhere. But I am just placing in some stuff and then we can remove these so we can have space for other stuff. Of, of course, letters doesn't take that much space. But if you ask me, I don't think they look that pretty. At least not here. It would be nicer if there was a loft loft, like a very small area you're getting to that you don't go, go to that often, as I said. Uh, yes, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have at least three. So we'll make three workbenches and make them into crafting stations. And that is going to be in the center here. So we don't need to go that far to craft basic things. We might be adding a crafting um, room as well on that way or this way or this way. Uh, so it's easier access to the storage room. But uh, I just um, kind of like finish off one thing at a time. So we don't have too much stuff going on everywhere. So we will be moving stuff in here, of course. And uh, as I said, I also wanted to make some cook oven from immersive engineering. And that is because they um, allows you to make some oil we're gonna be needing to actually make other types of power gen generation later on. In a way, maybe we could even make that before the oil one. Um, let me just check, I haven't really checked it. Uh, windmill requires this yes and this re just requires that and then i think there was some kind of coil 
Is it called coil or is it called something else? Copper coil block. Yes. Um, what if we go into immersive engineering? Let's see. Oops. What did I press? There. And we let's go immersive engineering. I remember how it looks, but the names I'm not that good with at times. Uh, there we go. Kinect Dynamo. Oh, that's not actually too bad. Ah, so actually we could just go for a windmill and then just have free power. Of course, it's not that powerful, but it would just generate power for us without us worrying too much. Hmm. I think maybe that would be a smart idea. So then we need the cook oven. Uh, cook? Co cook? <laughs> oven? Uh, but first we need to um, clear out our inventory a little. We need clay. That I know. And I did remove um, a, a, a beehive uh, with the scooper as that allows you to break the beehive without the entire herd of bees coming at you and killing you instantly. Or not instantly, but at least killing you. Uh, so that is what I used that one for, but I don't need it on me right now. And I was out digging a lot of clay, but I melted it all to make bricks. And now it's like, oh yeah, we need clay for making this too. Yeah, great. Uh, but I think this is spacious enough for us to at least get uh, some clay. And I did see a uh, big uh, patches of clay nearby, so we're gonna be grabbing that first. I think maybe it's smart if I repair my shovel, like so. And I was over in this direction and there was a lot of clay around. So we could just go grab that quickly. As if we go and find the cook oven, I think it should be here too. Gasoline, huh? And diesel. Uh, there it is. Cook oven, as you see, it requires clay and bricks as well as sandstone. And that gives you three and I know we need uh, three by three by three so the this one gives us three 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 that's nine eighteen twenty seven so we need twenty seven of them me and math especially when i'm recording uh, <laughs> but we need to make it a few times so we have up to twenty seven of those blocks i'm just checking if there is anything and I figured out the longsword is actually very nice on making you travel faster on in water. So I don't regret making it. And the clay goes a little under the ground here. A little bit more than I expected really. underneath there too okay does that look pretty no it does not do we want to try to fix it yes we want to try at least <laughs> um, does this even do anything huh let's put some water there and let's put some water. It's not easy fixing these ones. Of course, now there's just a stream of water there, but it, it looks a little bit better at least. Not gonna be used too much time on it. Um, let us see. Yeah, we got almost two stacks of clay. And it's actually easiest to just go underwater and see. And then we can see there's some clay here. Dig it up. And we're also going to be needing sand uh, for the sandstone. And it. So I guess we, we would need to make the recipe nine times. Am I correct there? 9x3 is 27, which gives us then 27 blocks. 
And if we're looking on the recipe again, it requires, this is then eight, eight clay for every time. And this is then four. And then it's eight. So in a way we should maybe have enough clay then. I would almost assume. Then we would actually require a little bit of sand. I don't actually think I have more sand in the base, so that's why I'm just digging up this. It could be that my math is wrong, but at least that's what my mind is telling me right now. But we're gonna figure out if I'm wrong or not. Fixing this a little. There. So we're gonna be needing 27 of this one. And that's gonna take a little while. It's almost like you need more sand than you need. Oh wait, we wouldn't need 27. We would only need nine if my calculations was right. But that doesn't quite make sense either. Ah. Let's dig a little bit of sand at least so we have a stack. And then let's just head back home and figure out if Rainier's math is correct or not. And there. And let's just head back home. And let's test Rainier's math theory. So uh, big pools of water like this is very nice with a long sword because you actually move a little faster. Oops. So if you like moving across big uh, uh, lakes like that, it's actually very nice with long sword. But be careful with it because you do take fall damage if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, and uh, we're gonna be making a little bit of breaks. So I think in a way, just an entire stack. And if we don't use all of it, then we could just use it for the building here anyway. And we needed to make some sandstone, yes. So in a way we would only need nine, but the question is, is that enough? I feel like I made a lot more before. And then just clay around. Hmm. I'm starting to doubt my math, but we see. So we're gonna be needing nine bricks on each side here. So this one is just melting. This is we, we made in the last episode. We made a pulverizer and a redstone furnace that is running on power from the coal generator. And in a way we could just burn this so you don't run out of power. I'm just gonna be making a few of them. And that is just so it could be that this is actually enough. So Rainier calculated correctly. Hmm. And these bears have moved, but it could be that I'll be moving them again. For not, we're just placing it here. And I just remember we're gonna be needing to make another tool to make this one even functionable. Um, where is it? It's down here. So it's two iron, some sticks and a string to make that hammer Do we have string on us. I know we have string somewhere or else we could just make it out of cotton, but I felt like we had it there. So good. And yeah, iron, two of you. And you're kind of occupying the space. Boop. I need a stick. So I'm just going to make those into wood and then make sticks, iron and string. Engineer's hammer. Awesome. And then we can just place this one back. Doesn't matter with the clay. And then we can make that. Getting closer. And the nice thing actually with a cook oven uh, too is that you can actually turn one log into charcoal uh, for free. Like uh, you don't need to burn anything or anything. The clipping there was annoying me a little. So let's just 
move the bush there and eat the wild berries. Nom nom nom. And I don't think this one should be hollow. Like there's two cook ovens, one from immersive engineering and one from railcraft. But I think this one should just be a complete block. But we test. There in we go back in. Are you done with more bricks? Is this gonna be it? Two 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 two. Awesome. There we go. And we have the cook oven complete here. So my mass was actually correct. There. And then we're gonna take the hammer and just hit it and voila. Now it's a cook oven, which is a multi-block. And in here then you just place in logs and it, over time, it takes a little time, it will make charcoal and also the oil we're searching for. So actually you're getting a little bit more out of it as you're getting to your charcoal and the oil and the oil in a way you could, I think you can burn it in a specific um, uh, machine too. So you can actually make RF out of it too if you were not to um, use the oil for anything else. So that is nice. I had a... A baby zombie don't like those guys so we're just throwing in the oak and um, that is just gonna be cooking as you see it's not the fastest cooking process but it's slowly slowly get, getting there and then it's gonna get here and you can automate this too and everything that's the nice thing with modded like you can basically automate everything and we love that Okay, so that is then making us charcoal, which we need for torches and uh, other stuff anyway, or you could just burn it to make RF. And then I'm uh, gonna get us some oil hair. And in a way, we are gonna be using a lot of burnable stuff too, as we are gonna be going for steam, as I do want to make a little steampunk team. And then again, we kinda need steam to make steampunk almost. Can I go to sleep? Please. There. Thank you. There we go. And you always need to press on that one. You can just shift click. And let us see if this one is complete. Yes. And it normally needs around four logs to get one bucket of this oil. That we then need to make the windmill so it's gonna take a little time and again the windmill doesn't produce that much power produces a little bit but not like enormous amounts of it and i'm just gonna be checking you can improve the windmill by adding something but maybe it's just better wind these ones windmill sail which then requires industrial hemp. And we don't have any industrial hemp growing in our temporary garden here, but we could have some growing here. So we might be doing that. And I know I had some hemp seeds, at least one hemp seed somewhere, as I ended up throwing it away. There we go, the hemp seeds. So we're just gonna be planting these so we can just multiply them and spread them everywhere. Seeds, go away. Okay. There we go. And I do also want to just make an oil generator too because I did actually find more black quartz that uh, we didn't have in the last episode, but I stumbled upon a few ores and then I pulverized it and we got a lot more of them. So we want to do that too. But everything is so messy here. So let me just... I might just do this off camera though, but let me just make a temporary chest here too and then I will making a little bit more system to everything. So that feels a lot nicer having a little, a little bit more clean. In a way, we don't really need a hammer right now either. So there, and I will kind of like sorting out everything and we will putting them close to by hiding different chests and so on. So we could just have a lot better system here. 
Okay, and then let us see. I kind of want that oil generator. I'm talking about the oil generator all the time, so why not just make that oil generator? Oil generator. Uh, oil made. Okay. We need uh, two iron uh, casings and just cobblestone around it. And the casings weren't too expensive either. So we're going to be needing eight of that. We're going to be needing two of you. We're going to be needing a little bit of cobblestone, so just taking a random amount. And we're going to be needing some sticks, which I placed in here. <laughs> so that gives us one. Yeah, we're going to be needing more wood anyway. Oop, and I'm missing a tool. I think I'm missing a tool. Yes. The matchbook. Is it getting dark again or is it just me? Why is it so... It feels darker. Oh, it's an eclipse going on. Wait. Eclipse going on. Uh, doesn't that mean that uh, mobs will spawn in the middle of the day? I didn't book a clips. <laughs> I didn't want that. Yeah, it's covering more and more up and I have a feeling we're going to be seeing mobs spawning. So we better be prepared. For the worst. Maybe go inside and make sure all the doors are locked. <laughs> of course, now you can see that if a skeleton stood up here, it could actually easily shoot down upon us. And we would have a problem. As we are just shooting targets. Uh, and we are making then the iron casts. So we're going to go, how was it again? Is it in the middle here? And then those, and then surrounded by iron. Okay. They're iron cast like so. And then it was the canola, not Corona, but canola in there. And then cobblestone around and voila, oil generator. Awesome. Is it safe to go out? Mm, I'm a little unsure if there's spawned any enemies. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if it's m m vanilla that uh, adds a clips or if it's some kind of mod that adds it. I'm not quite sure, but it's of course of course cool because it's something that happens in real life too. So it's nice it's there. It just I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> and so we have the oil generator and. I need to go to extra, actually additions, actually, as we do want to make a few other items and one of them was the atomic something, atomic, atomic. I kind of like remember them when I see them, but the exact name for them is another thing, the atomic. Okay, so that one requires another iron casing and some iron, so it's not too expensive. Go there, grab a little of our iron. And we still have some cobblestone. And we have exactly what I was fearing. Uh, we have the spiders. Don't hope there's anybody else around. There, do we got, okay. And some string. I'm just gonna check, we have an Enderman there that actually would be nice defeating, but I don't think we're strong enough. This could be some creepy crawlers around. So I'm just keeping the door closed. And let us see here then, we were making Okay, I only make one stick actually. And then around like so there and iron ingots making the iron casing. And then how was it again? It was like 
this with some redstone around there again. I believe. Let's just sort this one. There. So it was like that, and that gives us the atomic reconstructor. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be working nice together as we need this one to make other items so we can make the oil generator more efficient. As we want to make, for example, the fermenting barrel, uh, which is then crafted with some logs, a wood casing, canola again, and energy energy crystal and that one is actually created by dropping iron in front of this machine and it will make it into this yes so we're gonna be doing that just looking out for any spa uh, monsters say like that and I'm a little curious if it just takes canola directly or if we need to do something. But we're going to figure out we have this. Oh, it doesn't take it directly. So we need something else first. And what was that again? I remember there was something. That canola press. There we go. This is the one we need. Advanced coil and that needs gold. Could we have gold then? Okay, and then we actually need to use that one too. So actually, we're going to be bringing this one back in. As we have a coal generator, we could just hook it up to just to get the things we need. Let us just quickly check again the recipe. Do you require anything? Yeah, you need these ones, and those are made in the atomic one with redstone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be making a lever, actually. Because this one would just be tapping energy unless you had give it a redstone signal to stop. Stop. Okay, and we're going to be taking half... Oops. Half of those, and... Half of those, I guess. And sap. There we go. So we got these. I uh, don't think there was anything else we needed. So we could just, well, we could just let it stay because this one is not working anyway. And it's getting dark. And why did I place away my sleeping bag? Sleep. Boop. There we go. In a way, when you're having a sleeping bag, you get too lazy to just go up uh, to your bed and so on. And I just remembered I removed my bed, so my spawn is not set. Yeah, so maybe next next night we actually should be going to the bed or else we're going to have a problem. For sure. And we're going to go in here and get some gold. Make that into gold ingots. And again, check this recipe. So it's just uh, one black quartz surrounded by those new redstone things we got. There, giving us that. Surrounding it with gold, giving us that. And you need one of those stars on the top. There, there, canola there. And was it cobblestone around? Yes, canola press. Awesome. So it's actually... Let's see if we could get over here. So the canola press, I think they directly uh, connect. So you press this in here and it does actually require a power boost. So uh, the first first time it actually needs to get a little bit of power for it to even work. But then the coal generator after that will be generating or the oil generator will be generating enough power to sustain the press as well as make extra power. So we're just going to be borrowing the coal generator for a second just to give it the boost. So burn up one plank should do it. And as you can see, this one is now making oil and it goes directly into the oil generator, which is then making power. 40 uh, CF per tick. 
Um, I don't know how much CF and RF is, but it's at least making it, but I don't actually think it stores it. Oh yeah, it's actually storing up the canola press first and then it has a buffer and then it will stop burning, of course, just like the coal generator. But as you see, now they got that buff and this one will just be working as long as there's canola oil. So we could, just, in a way, just put this in in the start and then we're going to be making so the canola becomes even better and the oil generator can make even more power for us. Very good. I'm still just going to have the coal generator there so we have a power option until we have figured out everything. But now that, that, yes, and then it is the fermenting barrel, which requires some wood and this one, which requires even more wood. So what you need to do then is just go and chop some wood. Doot, doot, doot. And there is some trees over here. Was that an, oh, it was a butterfly. I thought it was an apple. And I hope there is some monsters around that is hiding in the shadows. But if I know my luck, they probably are. Probably a creeper or something that's gonna scare the living dirt out of me. <laughs> the sheep is trying. <laughs> there, and I think that's good enough wood for now then we're just making our way back and this one too is uh, cooking so I'm gonna be throwing in a few more in there and as you can see there's one bucket uh, worth of creo suit oil ready and some charcoal for us that we can make torches out of oh oops Okay, good, good, good. And we're gonna make another crafting station because it's always nice to just have crafting stations everywhere. Blop, and these are then crafting and let us think here. It was first some sticks, surrounded like that. Let me grab some more wood. And then it was wood like so and then a log in the middle that made us wood casing. And then without trying to look at the recipe, was it like this? And then one canola in the middle. Let me grab one. Oh, yeah, fermenting barrel. Cool. Okay, and I'm not quite sure if they keep their values if we break them, but let's test. So if we put this one there instead, yeah, it still keeps the power is saved and the canola. And this one is full with canola oil as well as the power. What we're, we're gonna do then is that this one always uh, admits on all sides, I think. But if we have this one then, it will put the oil inside the barrel and the barrel will over time turn it into refined canola oil, which is even better. And then this one, the oil generator will be using that instead, which then allows it to make even more power. So that is nice, a little uh, improvement there from the start. And then we can actually use this one, uh, hook this one up and then it gets power, but in a way we could hook this up and then everything we have gets uh, power from the oil. So that is nice. Of course, I won't be having it here, but it's a good starter at least, as we don't really have that much space inside. So in a way, when I'm thinking of it, why did not just make it right outside? So we could just hook it up in. Yeah, we should just do that. I'm a little unsure with this one if it keeps it's Yeah, that one keeps it too. So that's nice. All of them keep their properties. So we're just doing that. And let's just head on over here. And our power items are just on the other side there. So I'm just going to be removing this for now. Of course, it's not looking that pretty with this here, but this is just temporary. And then we're having uh, the oil generator there. Of course, it needs to be burning this one before it gets the next one. 
but at least it is ready. And then uh, to make the power go from there then and to the machines, we need some um, electric power or uh, wires or cables. As, um, there's many mods that uh, give a various of of them, but I'm gonna be using the one I normally like to use, and that is just some lead um, lead ones. So I think that requires just two lead, one glass, and a little redstone, which we already have on us. And I'll just make it like this, put that and there. Uh, lead stone, flux ducts, duct. And I could take up to 1000 RF per tick. And I don't think our oil one is capable of making that much. And then we just wait, working ourselves underneath here. And in a way we actually don't need the coal generator anymore. So in a way we could actually compact this a little bit better. But now this one is full. Let's remove at least these two. And let's find the oil generator. Just there. So we hook that one up. Of course the canola press also needs power. So it's important to hook that one up too. And then power and power. There, so now everything is connected and we'll be sharing the same power. Then I can put the redstone furnace there. And then we will be putting a chest here instead. So if I just make a little bit more wood. Again, this, this place here is just temporary, but it's just nice having a little bit better stuff. And then the hopper can be there. And then we can seal off the floor. So it doesn't look that horrible. There we go. And then way I could just do that. And then I can remove this again. Cool. Okay. So now that is hooked up and they will uh, gain power from the oil generator on the outside instead. And the nice thing is that canola just grows very quickly and you can just be making a lot of it. And this one would just fill up with the refined canola oil. And then we have plenty of power for a long time. At least with the stuff we're making right now. And of course we move this stuff elsewhere when we are done with that and have like a power area where maybe we'll make some canola oil power, some windmill, and we're gonna store it and everything. So we're gonna be good with power. I'm just gonna be harvesting a little canola actually. And we can uh, also just put a hopper over the canola press too. So we just have a lot of canola just waiting to be made into oil. And we have a lot of seeds here. You can also just make the seeds into um, oil too, I think. I'm not quite sure if you need that one or if it's just something else. Let us just quickly check. Um, Canola, crystallized canola seeds. There's at least something you can do with them. Um, so you can uh, make power out of those too, I think. But there. And we're gonna be giving it the hopper that we had on the coal generator. And go there. And then just drop in all the canola there. There we go. So this one is just going to be working then. And then this one gets full and everything. And then when everything has filled itself up, eh, everything will just stop. As you can see, this one is just building itself up. But that's because it's falling down from the hopper. So that's nice. Nice indeed. So we're producing a little bit better uh, power now. And it's a lot easier for me to harvest this compared to go and chopping down trees. And always using that because as you can see, this is a lot easier and gives us a lot more power than a coal generator. Oh, we're done. Uh, gonna be planting some more hemp there. Yes, and uh, most likely for the next episode, I am uh, gonna be um, building the storage room complete and maybe also the roof itself. I see how much time I get and also be mining more in the hole. 
quarry hole we're having there and get some more resources going. But it's nice to have a little bit more steady power flow. Of course, we still need to manually feed it, but we are eventually going to be getting like, um, I think it's a harvester. Um, or what was it called? Uh, oh, cutter? Can't really remember what the mod was even called now. But it's a plant harvester that can harvest both uh, wood and also plants. Um, oh, come on. I need to remember the mod. Um, at least I know the one is called... Oh, wasn't it called planter? Planter, uh, plant gatherer. That's what the name is uh, called now. So we're going to be making this one. But as you see, it requires a little bit more gold. Uh, and so on to be making and you also need something called plastic to make it but I tell you this is gonna be really nice um, a nice addition so we can actually have automated wood farm automated anything farm really when it comes to plants and that's gonna be nice also then it can harvest canola seeds for us and then just automatically put it into the canola press and we um, can just uh, live on um, that type of power for a while until we start getting better power options. So yeah, uh, that is good. But I think actually we're gonna be wrapping up the episode here then guys, as I will be doing a little work off camera, as I don't think it's that interesting seeing me build the roof again, right? <laughs> so we're wrapping it up here then guys. So again, if you watched all the way to the end, you're just awesome as always. So a huge thank you to you. And until next time, guys, stay safe and bye.